All right, gonna have an honest moment with you, chat. I did play a little bit yesterday. And so if you are here at the end of the last stream, we, we heard Oswald's little intro sequence and then I saved and I ended. But yo, this is, this is the file that I was playing on yesterday. So I was only on for about maybe 30. <laughs> I was only, hold on, let me finish my story. I was on for about 30 minutes. You know what I was doing? I was fucking safe scumming chat. I was I was going back into town. I was like, yo, 3% shit to 3% shit to steal. Wow. I'm gonna yeah, give me that shit. I was like, I'm not paying these respect fees, and I just kept on loading back. <laughs> Shame. Fucking pussy. Shame. I kept on loading. Shame. Get some help. I kept on loading back to the title sequence. Be like, nah, I'm not paying hey, your fee. This guy's a great big phony. I am not finished, excuse you. So I was telling Inger before I started stream, I was like, I, I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to continue playing. Like, I, 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 feel, I feel like I cheated a little bit. I feel, I feel a little dirty, chat. I feel a little bit dirty. So I'm having an honest moment with you. That's why I loaded up. Stop. You violated the law. <laughs> Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. <laughs> your stolen goods are now for You can take them, Oblivion Guard, okay? I'm not gonna use the file. This is the file that has all the save scum items. Man, I got some good items, chat, bro. I was like, oh fuck yeah, dude. But I've been I've been pondering on it all day. The guilt's been setting in. It was just, I don't feel I don't feel right, so loaded up the previous file, okay? <laughs> Don't leave, guys. Don't leave. We're literally conditioning Sam like Pavlog's dog with the bean boozled sound effect. <laughs> yeah, I fucking hate you. I get it. Uh, I don't mind at all. We went to the only arcade in town. Mr. Samki hype. After that, we went to go get some Japanese food. Ooh, good shit, Mouse. Nice. How was both the arcade and the food? Ooh, playing without us. <laughs> <laughs> it's only for like 30 minutes. Well, hey, Mouse, I know you were pretty nervous um, leading up to it, so I'm really happy to hear it went well. So yeah, I loaded up the previous save file. We'll just talk to Oswald. Mark ugly. <laughs> you can't even tell. <laughs> it's pixelated. I made a sad expression, but you can't see it. <laughs> Moon. <laughs> oh, my, oh my fucking god, dude! <laughs> Look like a Rob Ron CCTV. <laughs> oh, oh my god, chat. <laughs> Lol. I must. I want to listen to music while walking. But hey. Alright, we back, we back. What up, guys? Welcome back to the stream, dude. Get those raffle tickets, baby. Get them. Alright, chat. Alright, chat. Rescue the man from the snow. Let's do it. Where am I? Was I unconscious? You saved me there. My name is Oswald. I'm a scholar. You must be a traveler. Hmm. I'm looking for someone. I'm sure you have your own reasons for traveling. So what do you say we help each other out for a bit? It's the only logical choice, and my magic is sure to be of use. Man, Good this day, this voice actor sounds familiar. I'm gonna have to look him up. I feel like I've heard him in something. <laughs> and I love how our character Ochet. The little, the little beastling. I love how her ears like just like move like here and there like chicka, 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 chicka. Yo, what up wild wolf? Welcome back to the stream. How you doing man? 
Cheers, cheers. Looking like Japanese porn. Uh, Mouse says, bro, it's been so long since I've gone, uh, since I've got out uh, without having to run after my kid. And I won most of the games after he bragged about kicking my ass. <laughs> Lol, let's go, Mouse. For food, I got rice noodles with a curry sauce. Oh, that sounds delicious. <laughs> yeah, Mouse, let's fucking go. You've chosen well. Oswald joined the party. Hear the, begin hear the beginning of Oswald's tale. The party will temporarily be dissolved and chapter one of Oswald's tale will begin. So we are going to be starting his prologue. Oswald is being held prisoner. His tale will continue uninterrupted until the end of chapter two. Proceed anyway. Ye. Good to see you, Wolf. Appreciate you tuning in. Good day, Commander. All things in this world have a source. Nothing begets nothing. Follow the chain of cause and effect, and it will lead you to the answer you seek. For the record, you, Oswald, plead not guilty. Is that correct? <laughs> the facts are thus. Upon extinguishing the fire, the bodies of your wife and daughter were found in the rubble. They were nearly charred beyond recognition. A gruesome sight. I'm sure you agree. Thus the court accepts, without objection, immolation as the cause of death. Whoa! Welcome back, Paula. Good to see you. However, there is one last inexplicable detail. Nothing one could reasonably consider the cause of the conflagration was found at the scene. Ergo, the fire ought not to have happened at all. Absent the use of magic, that is. <laughs> you were a scholar of magic, weren't you, Oswald? Is that a mere coincidence? Hm, I think not. Having conducted a thorough investigation of the scene, the court holds the following to be true. You, Oswald were the only one capable of starting such a fire that night. In the sacred name of Alifan the Scholar King, the court hands down the following verdict. Oswald V. Van Stein, we find you guilty of the murder of your wife and daughter, for which you are sentenced to life imprisonment on Frigid Isle. Whoa! Do you have any last words? <laughs> Harvey. The man who took everything from me. Shall die by my hand. I swear it. Oh man, falsely convicted of murder. Aw, shit. Five years later. Oh, for sure, Wolf. No problem, man. I appreciate you stopping by, dude. Hope the rest of your shift goes Frigid well. Isle, a solitary island in the far northern reaches of the sea. Give me one second, Cedar. I just want to let this play through. call it the edge of the world. Blanketed in snow all through the year. The nearest continent is due east. Four days journey by sea. Even on the largest vessel. Even then, the fierce blizzards at sea can make a wreck of the mightiest ships. Trips to and from this accursed place are heavily regulated. This place holds all mainlanders found guilty of the most heinous crimes. 
It held over 300 of us at its peak. In its 80-year history, none have escaped. Or rather, I should say, the deplorable treatment of the prisoners ensures that lives end before sentences do. I have survived for 1,879 days, but neither the unforgiving climate nor the ravages of time shall extinguish the fire in my breast. Damn. That is quite a heavy Another start. Another frigid day in hell, eh, Professor? Hmm. <laughs> you know what this is? It's your little notebook. It never leaves your hands, does it? <laughs> oh, don't look at me like that. I'm only borrowing it. You were quite the scholar, weren't you? Yes, this notebook could be worth quite a lot. I'm sure it'd fetch me a tidy pile of cigarettes. Hey, what the? You're welcome to take it back, of course. But you'll have to fight me for it. That's my diary. Fuck you. <sighs> I love the little glistening of snow that you see in the front of the scene. That's beautiful. Uh, but yeah, see, Dan, to answer your question, sorry, I didn't, I didn't want to interrupt that, uh, that beginning part. The game is about eight travelers. And at the beginning of the game, you can choose any of them to start. And um, they each have their own stories. So, although at the very end, I don't, I'm, I can't say for a hundred percent. I don't know how much of all of these separate stories tie in together. But um, yeah, they're more like eight individual stories. And then you recruit the uh, the rest of the travelers as you uh, explore around the the two continents. Voice actor kind of sounds like whomever did that more shall gather. Oh, <laughs> oh, fucking Wayne June. Uh, yeah, he does all the narration for Darkest Dungeon. It definitely, it definitely has got some brevity to it. Hells yeah, Paula. I'm glad you're all, I'm glad all that's done with. Have you gotten your diploma yet, by the way? I want that effect in my room. The snow, it's super pretty. Um, but yeah, see Dan, if you have a Switch, a PlayStation, or... Uh, PC, there is a free demo if you want to try it out. Path action mug. At night, Oswald can mug townspeople for their belongings. Try pressing X near a townsperson. And yo, dude, frozen. I hope, uh, hope you're enjoying it. I don't know how far you are, but yeah, I hope, uh, I hope you're loving it as much as I am. Mug this person? Hells yeah. Give me that shit! That's my notebook! <laughs> if you want it back so badly, come and get it. Mm. We battling? <laughs> Man, I'm so spoiled by the music. I'm like... Hello? Epic battle tunes? <laughs> Please? <laughs> March for okay, should be here in just a few. All right, it's like a day after my birthday. Nice. All right, gonna lurk. Was about to knock out before you went live. Yeah, for sure. No, pro no worries, comment. Appreciate you hanging out. Have a good night, dude. Oh, really, bitch? Okay, bro. Hmm? What are you okay, bro? me for? <laughs> Where's my music? All right, let's see. Let's see what. Fireball and ice wind. You cannot use spells while muzzled. <laughs> Lul. Hmm. Man. This is, the, this is the first time I've played this game with no music. I'm like feels naked. 
This doesn't feel right. Hopefully this doesn't last too long. All right, we'll break him up. Pop Mass off. I forgot the, the command earlier. I just remembered it. <laughs> yeah, no, no problem, Mouse. Exclamation point SFX if you uh, ever want the, the, the link to the, to the Google Doc, so you can just save that. Um, later, down the line, I will have the sound effects listed in my profile section, so you can just like scroll this, scroll through there and you'll see it. But yeah, as, as for right now, it's, uh, it's all in a Google Doc. Peace. Easy. All right, there's a little bit of music there from the level up. Take it back. I've got no use for your filthy scribblings anyhow. That's right. Give me back my journal. Help. Guards. He's gonna kill me! What a bitch! <laughs> Obtained Oswald's notebook. <laughs> Help! Somebody! <laughs> What's all this about? It's him. He attacked me. All the, all the camera pan, the camera pan, word, love it, dude. Hells yeah. Game, this sequel definitely does that. Well, if it isn't Oswald, our magical murderous scholar. Scenes definitely feel less static. Nice little pans and spells, animations, and scenes like these. <laughs> oh, I love it. How do you like the new toy I gave you, professor? Ah, rude! <laughs> it's a fine little muzzle, isn't it? Keeps you from speaking those spells you love so much. You're the only one who has the honor of wearing it, I'll have you know. You should be kissing my feet. Fuck you! Ah, <laughs> uh, that's why he can't cast spells. What's that look for? We got that muzzle on our mouth. Uh, ow! Hey! <sighs> Whoa! I know defiance when I see it, and I'll have none of it. I'd love to hear what you sound like. I really would. Oh, I'll remember what you, you Warden Davids. For your life, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid asshole. Give me your hat. It looks cozy. Oh, I have a raffle ticket. <laughs> Thirteen seconds. Thirteen seconds from the time a prisoner calls for help to the guard's response. Mm. At least some valuable information's come of all this. Mm. One warden and 34 guards for 292 prisoners. Over time, I've learned much about the way the prison and the people within it work. And all of that knowledge shall inform my eventual escape. An escape for which the plan is written in this notebook, using a cipher naturally. I've revised said plan numerous times these last five years, and polished it to a fine sheen. Only three pieces of the puzzle remain. The first, an escape route. For this, I have chosen a passage that leads beneath the prison. This passage is overlooked even by the guards themselves, and it leads directly out of this place. Mm. I must conduct a more thorough review of it, and soon. 
the second suitable clothing. Reminds me of Winterfell Castle from Game of Thrones. <laughs> Once I escape, I'll be exposed to the elements. The cold will claim me in minutes if I'm clad in nothing but these rags. All right, we need some clothes. We need some very cozy, cozy clothes. The third and final, an accomplice. To escape on my own would be to rely on my own assumptions. Good day, I require Commander. the help of another with intimate knowledge of the prison's inner workings. With these three pieces in place, my plan shall move that much closer to completion. At which point, only its execution shall remain. Catch up on chat after this cutscene. The next morning. Wake up, human filth! To work with you! I understand this island was once dotted with mines. Entire mountains were reduced to rubble for ore. And the prison was built atop the wreckage. To this day, there remains phosphor buried in the frigid earth. It's immensely flammable and sells for a fair bit of coin. So the prisoners are forced to mine it, and the guards line their pockets with the proceeds. Wow, scumbags! Yeah, I'll uh, I'll check out those Mind tickets scum. in a second, Nicole. Keep those hands moving. Whoa! I said, keep moving, unless you'd rather freeze to death. What's wrong with you? Move anymore. T too cold. Don't you go soft on me, criminal filth. Need I remind you that you were sent here to atone for your misdeeds? So beg whatever gods you serve for forgiveness and dig, you useless little mole. Your life is worthless compared to the precious phosphor you cleave from the earth. And believe you me, we'd burn you instead if you were anywhere near as easy to set a light. Do you understand? Sheesh. Answer me! I think he's dead, dude. <laughs> Warden, sir, he's already dead. <laughs> yep. Oh, dude, Fuck, I froze to death. Holy and unfortunately come sight. We are a Hey Maria, welcome back to the stream. Any environment, no matter how horrific, can be made ordinary. Oh, love the world building in this game. It looks so gorgeous. Forced to Same language, man! <laughs> vanishingly small window of free time. <laughs> it is in this free time that I review the remaining pieces of my plan. They are three. The first, an escape route. Okay. The prison is as old as it is massive. There are bound to be gaps and awkward seams. Perhaps I can glean a hint or two from someone with intimate knowledge of the island's history. The second, suitable clothing. One they call the Provisioner sells the clothing I'll need to survive. But first, I need to find them. 
I'll start by asking any prisoners who might know this provisioner. The third and final piece, an accomplice. My accomplice cannot be an ordinary prisoner. I must find someone capable of enacting my escape plan. Then all that will remain is the plan's execution. Find an escape route, cold weather wear, and all right, and then we can and then we can break out of this joint. Mm -hmm. Okay, you you got the ticket, Arku. Right, cool. How you doing, Maria? It's good to see you. Welcome back. His voice is so manly for a little bitty character. <laughs> okay, let me just double check something. Explore, shall we? There are not so many guards watching the cafeteria during this shift. Now is my chance to find an accomplice. Path actions scrutinize. During the day, Oswald can scrutinize to glean new knowledge from townspeople. Try pressing X near a townsperson. Hmm. Prisoner, age 53. Oh, and they, they all have their own numbers. No name! You are 321078. Impression? Flippin'. A footlicker, a footlicker who reports misconduct to the prison guards the second he witnesses it. All right, he's not our accomplice. This motherfucker's a snitch! Which has made him most unwelcome among the other prisoners. Yeah, wonder why, dude. Peace, goodbye. No, this one won't do. Definitely won't, dude. Snitching Sandy. Goodbye forever. How about you? Hmm. Prisoner, age 34. Number 310549. Prisoner who was once an aristocrat. He seems cultured and intellectual, but is prone to leaps in subject as well as sudden bouts of shouting and unruliness. Nah, man, AK, he's gonna panic like a bitch when shit fucking hits the fan. Nope. No. I cannot tie my fortunes mm -mm. to this prisoner. I agree, Oswald. We're not, not off to a good start. <laughs> These guys would be terrible accomplices. Oh, for sure, Maria. Do you know if it's a, a boy or a girl? Huh. Wishing you all the best. Hope the pregnancy goes well. Goes smoothly, I should say. A footlicker! Of course, the footlicker is the snitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been good, Maria. Um, this game came out on Friday, and I've been, very, I've been looking forward to this game for a year. So, yeah, I've been absolutely hooked on it. Yeah, life's good. I appreciate you asking. Thanks for staying still follow to the channel, by the way. Prisoner number 257134. Crime, mass poisoning. Sentence, 156 years. <laughs> That's it. No backstory. What he's interested, what he's like, what he's into. Any fetishes? Like, nah, dude, he just poisoned an entire town. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> no comment from Oswald. A word. Oh, word. You'd make the perfect partner. Don't poison me, please. <laughs> Holy shit. Hmm. What about you? Prisoner number 294025. Sentenced 30 years. A well-known figure around the prison. 
His exceedingly wary demeanor belies a sense of determination unlike any other. Hmm. Well-known figure on the prison. Okay, all right. He's got some confidence. You there. A word. What are you playing at? Skulking around and sizing up all the prisoners. He's on to us, chat. <laughs> Nothing! Ah, right. You can't speak on account of the muzzle. I've been watching you. You know, for the last five years. And all that time you've been feigning indifference while you surveil the place, right? Oh, shit. <sighs> the other prisoners, the guards, everyone and everything. Watching for minute differences. Like you're making some sort of audit. Far as I'm concerned, only two types of prisoners watched silently for five years. Hungry beasts and people plotting an escape. That's it. <clears throat> if it's the former, I know someone who can help. But if it's the latter... So, which one are you, Professor? Shake your head if you're the former. Or not if you're the latter. Hmm. Be honest, or are we gonna lie? Oh, another boy. We'll have a. Or like, yet. Yeah. Well, you, well I don't, how old is your? How old is your son? Your first son. Have a little brother. He's got a name, must be important, right? Emerald. Hmm. What do you think, chat? Should we tell him our true intentions? Or are we gonna bullshit? I, I'm trying to remember. For, former, I think, was the bullshit answer and latter's the truth. Bullshit! You don't want to mess with me. Oh, nah, he knows we're full of shit, are dude. You that desperate not to let me on your plan? You are planning an escape, aren't you? Huh? Ah, oh, damn it, dude. <laughs> oh, no, we, we got no other choice, dude. <laughs> ah, all right, shit, dude. Damn it. All right, fine, yeah, maybe I am. Shut, shut your goddamn mouth. Stop talking so loudly. So, my eyes didn't deceive me after all. You're quite clever, I'll say that. Now, for my formal request. I went in on your plan. <laughs> I can be of use to you. You'll see. I got lots of valuable information I'll only share with a close confidant. I've collected it over my long years in this place. That's why they call me Emerald the Informant. I know my information is good. <laughs> you could do far worse. Professor Jailbreak. Professor Jailbreak, wow. I don't like this nickname. Only someone of considerable wit could have figured out my plot through mere observance. Further, he is correct that I have need of his wares. I like how it spots like. I like how it provides advantage. this little spotlight when he's uh when he's like having like an inner monologue. That's pretty cool. I knew you'd see it my way. So, what would you have me do? Hmm. This horrid island is four days' journey from the nearest shore. Even if our escape proves successful, we'll need a ship capable of making the journey to the mainland. 
I have set my sights on the vessel carrying the inspectors, who visit the prison on an erratic schedule. Thus, I need to know when it is due to arrive next. The ledger containing that information is fiercely guarded. I stand no chance of laying eyes on it. But all I need to know is the date. For that will be the date we make our escape. Understood. That won't come easily. Not impossible, though. I'll contact you once I have it. <clears throat> One more thing. Get me the key to this muzzle. Can't make any promises there, seeing as it was made just for you. <laughs> Let's just pray luck is on our side, eh, confidant? The plan is in motion. I just need to let the informant do his work. We got our partner. Yeah, no problem, Mouse. Feel Oswald. free to get some sleep. Whoa. Oswald. Have you found the answer? To work, maggots! Move! After forced labor. Now wait. Whoa, 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 what is this? What, what the fuck? Hold up, bro. Was it speeding up? Jesus. Someone who knows the history of this place should be able to point me in the right direction. I should seek out the prisoner they call the Provisioner if I want cold weather wear. The only question is which to procure first. Find a floor plan and cold weather wear. Alright, let's save. Alright, so I'm gonna save over that file that I played on uh, yesterday off stream where I was save scumming. There we go. I noticed that, it's really neat, yeah. <laughs> I I overwrote the save mouse. I'm not gonna load it back, okay? I save scummed on there, but we're 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 keep we're keeping the on stream file pure, okay? I thought you said you were sleepy! <laughs> I did that a lot in the first game when I was playing that on stream. I saved scum so much. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep it pure. <laughs> this is fun. Yeah, appreciate you guys hanging out. Man, this is a pretty dark story so far. Starts off with him on trial for uh, for the murder of his wife and his child. He was framed and he's been in prison for almost 2,000 days. Sheesh. A long serving guard on this island, physically and verbally assaulting the prisoners is a fact of life for him now. <laughs> Sounds like an important seal to have in your life. When he first joined, he had high hopes for the prisoners' rehabilitation. But the prison has changed him. Oh no, Sag? Sadju? <laughs> do you filthy, do filthy murderers like you even have hearts? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, I do. How would I be walking around, bitch? Come on. Openly, openly admitting to crimes. <laughs> I like watching people enjoy their food. This is the guy that mass poisoned a bunch of people. Yeah, dude, you like watching people enjoy their food because you poisoned it. You fu fucking freak! Creep! So many screenshots. 
Look at the light piercing through that window. Oh! You love to see it! Frozen, do you have your, uh, your, do you have your full party of, uh, of four yet? I'd rather be out here in the cold than locked up in that cell. Let's see, what, what can we learn about you? Prisoner number 321154. Crimes, trespassing, theft, murder. Sentence, 64 years. Shame it was an additional five. Shame. They say home is where you make it. But who the hell could make this place a home? Hmm. Prisoner number 293612. Crimes, manufacture and sale of illegal concoctions. Ah, a bit of a black market alchemist. Sentence 43 years. I wouldn't make it a weekend in prison chat. And even then is being a little modest. I think I would die in the first few minutes. Ooh, look at this library, how pretty. Look at all this glorious knowledge. Hey, professor, we've got some new thesis papers in. A timid guard who doubles as the prison librarian. He avoids trouble at all costs and let the prisoners do as they please. Thus, while official policy states that books are not to be taken out of the library, he generally looks the other way. Oh, okay, alright. You seem like a cool guy. What do you got in here? Clifford the Red Dog? Classic. You got some Calvin and Hobbes? Ruler of land, conqueror of sea. Hmm. Maybe I'll read this one next. Hmm. Oh, openly admitting to crimes, you would save scummy. <laughs> that's 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 why I didn't load up that file, Kudaddy. I was like, nah, man. I, there's no way I can. Because well, first of all, I'm not, I wasn't even in the same place at the end of the last stream, so like, there's no way I can load this up and just act like nothing happened. And, and even if, even if, even if I went back to that location, I would know. I'd be like, I stole these items off stream by safe scumming. How could I? I'm a piece of shit. I don't know how long I can hold this lion. Ah! <laughs> Major, 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 major. <laughs> Stop giving me that disappointing shake, who daddy. Opened up to you guys, and I was like, alright, let's... We just pretend like it never happened, okay? And we just overwrite the save. I don't have those items anymore, okay? Alright, I'm not using them, I'm not using them. I save scum all the time in this game. <laughs> oh, I did that so much in the fucking first game. And yeah, yo, dude, nothing against you if you save scum or if anybody saves scums, but I'm going to try really hard to just play it legitly. And so if I keep on trying to steal something and then I run out of chances and my reputation goes down, like, I'm not going to load back. Like, which I'm going to gonna have to pay the iron price. I think that usually means, like, buy blood. So that doesn't really make sense, but yeah, we pay with that money. Come out of my sword alert to say goodnight. Have a good stream. Thanks, RWG. Sleep well, man. Thanks for hanging out, bro. I'm absolutely going to save scum when I get it. <laughs> There's some really good items that you can get in the early game, and I'm telling you, dude. And some web and some uh, items that you can sell for uh, for some good leaves, like those like those uh, those coin bags. Prisoner number three zero zero three two eight. Crimes, theft, illegal commerce. Ah, for sure, dude. Selling that weed. Sentence, 22 years. Notes. Prisoner stole and sold a rare book belonging to the Order of the Sacred Flame. <gasps> the book's whereabouts remain unknown. Yo? Reference to the first game? <laughs> So the Order of the Sacred, F Sacred Flame is in the 
is is in the first uh is is in the first game and is connected to the cleric character named Ophelia. It's like a it's like a church. Mm. Confirmation that it's in the same universe. I doubt this is the only like wintry area, but man, this is looking good. I like how all the all the windows in here have that red glow from the light being reflected inside. That is nice. That is nice. So you're the muzzled scholar I've heard so much about. You look like you need something. Same as everyone else who comes to see me. You the provisioner? Bale? I'm a Christian. Hmm. Yeah, you you could do that in the first. Um I don't know if the cost of the cost is the same, but yeah, it's fifteen hundred. I've saved scum in every game I can. <laughs> Man, and, and in games like XCOM where you're where your soldiers can permanently die. Oh, dude, you go bet your sweet ass I save scummed in that shit. I was like, no, that's my best guy. <laughs> ah, I never, I never uh, completed War of the Chosen, but man, I, I did enjoy my time with it. And I got to rename my soldiers as you guys. So yeah, XCOM was a blast when I played that on stream. It's definitely a little butt clenchy, but it was cool bringing you guys in and yelling at you when you missed your 99% shot chances. <laughs> the name's Bale. Most call me the Provisioner. I think Disco Elysium is the only games I didn't... Oh, you didn't save some? Sammy! Yes, Mouse? You going to bed? Sammy McMammy Whammy! <laughs> What's up, Mouse? What's good? What's cracking? You got something to get off your chest. I can secure most anything people ask for. You sound a little bit shady, but my nipples are almost frozen, so if you can get me a nice win a coat, I would appreciate it. Not for money, given our circumstances. I'm not gonna suck your dick! But everyone has something of value on them, if you know what I mean. Not sure, maybe? I go sleep now, or attempt it again. Sounds good, Mouse, no problem. Thank you very much for hanging out. You sleep well. And uh, if you didn't already, yo, grab yourself a couple of raffle tickets before you head out. Yeah, good night, Mouse. Sweet dreams. <laughs> what is he looking for? So. He won't hand it over for free. Though, if I can find his weakness... I'd better scrutinize some of the other prisoners. Find out his weakness? Hmm. Scrutinize the person who knows Bale's weakness. Okay. I'm noticing in this particular section... Music is overpowering a little bit, so I might bring up... Here, hold on, let me just do this here. Octopath Traveler. Octopath Traveler. Octopath Traveler. Thank you. Good night. Much love to everyone. Good night. Have a good day tomorrow. Hmm. 
Prisoner number 291055, Bale. <clears throat> Known to many as the Provisioner, he's capable of acquiring most anything asked of him, albeit at a rather onerous cost. Hey Siri, what's the definition of onerous? <clears throat> it's an adjective of a task, duty, or responsibility involving an amount of effort and difficulty that is oppressively burdensome. He found his duties increasingly onerous. Mm, okay. You're better off not knowing what I've done. Fair enough. <laughs> Please don't murder me. Hmm. Prisoner, age 35, number 296432. Crimes, fraud, perjury, forgery. Sentence, 18 years. Notes, prisoner is delusional and a pathological liar. Hey, muzzle mouth, wipe that smug look off your face. Oh. Whoa. I want snacks, but I also don't want to get fat. The struggle is real. Ugh. I feel you. I feel you see Dan. Those, those late night munchies. That's one of the hardest things for me to control whenever I smoke weed, dude. Like, man, I just snack like a fiend. Hey, Okay, the hell? Discord told me you were on, so I came over, but you weren't on! What about theirs? Welcome back to the stream, and Daddy, welcome back as well. Um, so yeah, there there was a, a little bit of a mix-up, um, and I was having some technical difficulties, so I did have to restart stream. Yeah, welcome back, guys. Cheers. But yeah, it, it's only been like an hour, so it's all good. Starting up the prologue for Oswald. Our mage, or scholar, I should say. How you guys doing? A firm believer that justice is served when the prisoners suffer, and that they must be guided with a firm and unsparing hand. He greatly admires Warden Davids and hopes to take his place. Kisses! But yeah, there were some issues with, uh, my, uh, my channel point redeems like they were playing through but the, the audio wasn't coming through so yeah i had to end stream and then start it back up did i hold on oh yeah okay so we've talked to these okay there's there's a couple of new people here yeah okay i was going to go to bed and refresh my page and here you are to sleep or not to sleep Get some sleep, Daddy. But ye, get those raffle tickets, guys. Get them up, get them up. Yeah, if you want to just farm some points, I mean, you can just keep the stream open. But yeah, in any case, I appreciate you stopping by. You're more than welcome to hang out if you like. Prisoner, age 35, number 293533. Sentence, 98 years. All right, well, you're dying here. A relatively mild-mannered prisoner compared to the others, he was unable to read upon incarceration, but learned to do so under the library guard's tutelage. Hey Siri, what's the definition of tutelage? Noun, protection of or authority over someone or something, guardianship. But social interaction, that does not work. 
Well, I mean, you know, the, the, the choice is yours, laddie. Well, let me, let me ask you this. I have to end stream in a little over an hour because I also have work, so... If you won't be sacrificing that much, then, I mean, yeah, I mean, feel free to hang out. But if you're already cutting into, like, the five hours of sleep, then... Get some rest! Who wouldn't want to hang out with you, Sam? <laughs> Teaching tutelage tutor. Oh, okay, okay. Thanks, chat. Yeah, I'm trying to get into more of a habit of doing that. If there's a word that I don't know, just look it up. And I know it's all about practicing that to make sure, like, it stays in the memory, but... Yeah, I got, like, my phone here, so I might as well just look it up. All I do is the tutelage. Yeah, teaching people how to fail miserably. Ah, all right, ghost. I don't believe this prisoner knows anything. I mean, we have already talked to you guys. Yeah, Altaris, you're, you're saying that you love old school JRPGs? Bro, I feel like this game's right up your fucking alley, dude. How long's your sentence? I've got 27 years to go. Hmm. Prisoner, age 33, number 291056. Warden Davids dropped his coin purse the other day, and this prisoner watched as Bale picked it up. He doesn't dare tell a soul, though, as Bale knows his weakness. Mm. Okay, so Bale picked up the Warden's coin purse. Okay. Here it is. Surely this is the Provisioner's weakness. We got Let's it, see chat. How he responds. We got it, chat. You glean new information. Bale's weakness. We got Christian Bale's weakness, chat. Someone knows where he is. Rachel! 